the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be holy. God's fire. In 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 the days of the Bible, if you were called a prophet, it was almost like you were God. When a donkey got missing, after three days, they said, "Let's not be fools looking around." There is a man we know. Not there is a place. They stopped the issue of location. They said there is a personality that embodies the possibilities of God. This mysterious entity called Samuel, that his word does not fall to the ground. Whatever it is between him and God, we do not know. But we know that this is a human being and a half. Let's go and meet him. And they were on their way. Watch this. And true to their word, as soon as they saw Samuel, the donkey started going home. What kind of a wicked donkey is that that will allow his owners to suffer and then as soon as you meet a prophet the donkey was on his way going back home. Mm. May God take us to these realms. Can you imagine that the New Testament was founded upon better promises and yet we are yet to touch and scratch that dimension. There is something this man knew about God that we need to pray that God will impart to our lives and our generation. Otherwise, we will continue to mock the integrity and the potency of God's word. There are all kinds of movements editing the Bible, downplaying saying God did not mean this. Because when you don't have proof for many years, you have to create a theology to, to downplay what happened. Are we together? The apostle was teaching and somebody died and he said sorry he went out raised the person brought the person back and the lecture continued God. oh let revival come again let it come again let it come whatever made us become this dead whatever made us celebrating spiritual mediocrity from place to place there is, there is, there is a high calling, a high standard. Are we together? Samuel looks at Saul and says, let us go up and I will tell you what is in your heart. Is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his army? And he said, three things will happen to you because you met me. Number one. The donkey that has been missing on your way back you will find out it has been discovered number two you will meet three men holding two loaf of bread that will salute you and give you which you should receive number three you will come to the garrison of the philistines he says and that when you come there the hand of the lord will come upon you the spirit of god will be upon you and you will prophesy look at the man elijah resting upon the mountain and they bring an army in bands of 50 Look at how these guys suffered in military school and stood before a prophet and he downplayed their training with one shout from heaven. Fire came down and roasted all of them. They brought another band again. The third band begged. They said, we are military people, but we are not stupid. Brothers and sisters, nothing this powerful, listen, nothing this powerful should easily go out of fashion. Christianity is fading away because the, the wow factor, the attracting factor in the faith work is dwindling and fading. And what is left are just religious rituals and the celebrating of men as superstars. And God is tired of that. There needs to be a definite restoration of power. The power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not even talking of your ability to heal everything. Let's even say you just obtained the grace to heal cancer alone. That you can come up and say any other thing I've not caught the revelation. But if it is cancer, forward march. Let me tell you, you will weary yourself like Moses from morning till night. Because you will see a cue that unifies both rich and poor. Male and female. People will travel from every place and they will come. That they have learned that God is with you. 
There are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength, but only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end hear me in the name of jesus if there is anyone here under the sound of my voice and it is part of your prophetic destiny to carry this healing anointing i stand right now and i stretch my hands wherever you are may that mantle begin to locate you now may that mantle begin to locate you now the mantle that grants you the grace to validate the death the burial and the resurrection of jesus obtain that grace now hear me hear me i can tell you the truth mantles do not leave the earth every mantle you see in the bible and every mantle you see in modern history is still hovering around the earth waiting for aligned vessels and God is crying in these days this is the sound of the spirit that Easter should not just be a time of blind celebration but for, for, for God's sake that someone's life can begin to cry Maranatha come healing grace come healing grace come Lord Jesus Come, Lord Jesus, dominion over wicked spirits that cut short the life of people and plague their bodies. Thank God for the little we are doing, but for God's sake, let's contend for higher levels. He showed me a river. He measured a thousand cubits. It was to my feet, a thousand cubits. It was to my knees, a thousand cubits. It was to my loins, and a thousand cubits, an overflowing river. A thousand cubits. There are kings. There are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones, but only a shoe will reign forever, to his kingdom there'll be no end. a covenant with my life that Lord whatever it will take to hold superior dimensions of your power for my generation I will pay that price in Christ I will obtain grace to press because I will never join a queue that keeps misrepresenting the power and the potential of the kingdom ladies and gentlemen we must graduate from falling down and shouting in church to producing valid results that demonstrate the resurrection of christ the bible says and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection and great grace great grace great grace that was what was responsible great grace great grace that people will run to your house while you are sleeping they are patient we are not here to wake you 
we know God is with you. We will wait until you wake up because we know that one declaration from you can rewrite the realities of our life. This is not human worship. The Bible calls God being embodied in a man a mystery of godliness. It said great is a mystery of godliness that God became a man. Seen of men and angels. He said as my father has sent me so send I you the gospel was never supposed to be this difficult to communicate the difficulty is the alternative we try to bring to explain away the absence of authentic results hear me what do you tell a woman who comes to church with her child because you told them that Jesus heals how do you explain a woman who comes to church say by 7 a.m. in the morning for a service that will start at 3 or 4 and she sits down with the expectation that Jesus will meet her child do you know what will happen to that woman as she drags that child back home and they say you went to church in the morning some even take a step of faith to take the child out from the hospital and say after all you're on your way dying but I hear Christians say Jesus resurrected let us bring him there this is not about the issue of being called into the healing ministry or not except you hate Jesus you should contend for the healing anointing in this end time more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life let that be the prayer of a generation that the average lifespan in Africa last I checked is 48 years that means the moment you get to 48 years in Africa most likely it's countdown for you where is that here and yet respectfully speaking we are all here men and women of God believers all kinds of books the Bible we have we keep printing it in different versions for better understanding I'm not being sarcastic let me tell you anybody who loves God must throw away that arrival mentality and we must begin to cry in all honesty because thank God for the little we have done and I say little without a sense of exaggeration relative to what we need to bring as we usher in the return of Christ let God be true there are virgin dimensions of power we are yet to get to and we must learn how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and cry until mantles are falling here tonight once again anointings are falling here tonight once again graces are falling here tonight once again graces are falling here tonight once again Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.